in the U.S. Senate. Republicans have stalled in an attempt by the White House to make Chuck Hagel the Secretary of Defense. He fell two votes short as senators decided to push for more time to find out more about him. Artis Ghanachich Khan has more. Well, Rory, those who blocked the vote on Chuck Hagel's nomination this Thursday know very well that he will eventually be confirmed as defense secretary. There are enough votes in the Senate to confirm him. But the stalling of the vote, together with the humiliating treatment that the senators gave Chuck Hagel two weeks ago at his confirmation hearing, this whole process is seen as a message all by itself. Those lawmakers showed that they could crush anyone who would allow themselves to dissent from Washington's core foreign policy beliefs. Chuck Hagel's remarks at the the confirmation hearing disappointed even his supporters. During the hearing, which to many seemed like an inquisition, Mr. Hagel had to backtrack today, on many of the statements he had made before, including that uh, war with Iran should not be an option, including his criticism of Israel's actions and some other foreign policy views that he had expressed as a senator. So throughout that long and exhausting hearing, Mr. Hagel kept apologizing for much of the previous statements he had taken, from previous positions he had taken. He bent backwards to show how, quote unquote, mainstream his views are, and the senators kept accusing him of not being again, quote unquote, mainstream enough to get the job Chuck Hagel swore to defend basically all of Washington's foreign policy orthodoxies. His confirmation process has been humiliating in many ways, and it, it demonstrated the state of U.S. foreign pol uh, policy, basically intolerant of an alternative vision, alternative thought. Having said all that, the president's decision to nominate Chuck Hagel, of course, knowing the positions Chuck Hagel had taken before, was also seen as a message. President Obama had said previously that there is too much much war talk going on, and maybe by nominating Chuck Hagel, he wanted to play it down, uh, because too many people here in Washington are too eager to talk war. Just during the confirmation hearing, the word war was mentioned 120 times, the word Iran 108 times. By comparison, Afghanistan, the war that the U.S. is fighting right now, just 26 mentions. Of course, those are just words, but they may very well uh, show how eager many, many in Washington are to discuss new wars without even having finished the old ones.